find the exact value of each expression. So for part A, we want to find sine of negative 150 degrees. So first I am going to graph negative 150 degrees. Of course that would be going in the negative direction. And we want to do two things. We want to know the reference angle and we also want to know what quadrant that we're in. We see that we're in quadrant 3 and we know that the sine value of our angle will be negative in quadrant 3. So let's go ahead and put our sign in that's negative something. And in our reference angle, hopefully we can tell that we are just 30 degrees short of a half rotation. So the distance required to go from negative 150 to, to the, my nearest x-axis, of course, would be 30 degrees. So our reference angle would be 30 degrees. So we can draw our special triangle and we can work from the perspective of 30 degrees. So here's 30 degrees. And we're working from the perspective of our 30 degree angle. This would be 1, 2, square root of 3. So the sine value would be opposite over hypotenuse. So that would be 1 half. So the sine value of negative 150 degrees would be negative 1 half. All right. Now we want to find cotangent of 1035 degrees. So first we will graph our angle. Before I do that I notice that I have more than one complete rotation. So let's find out how many complete rotations we have. We will divide by 360. In my calculator, I get 2.875. That means I have two complete rotations. So I will subtract 360 twice. And when I do that, I get 315 degrees. So we have two complete rotations. And then 315 degrees more. So go almost all the way around. And I'm going to stop just shy of a third complete rotation. And if the last part I did was 315 degrees, that was the kind of basically the coterminal angle there, uh, what would be left over to go from 315 all the way to the x axis to 360? So that would be, it looks like, 45 degrees. So our reference angle is 45 degrees. Alright, so we're working in quadrant 4 and is cotangent positive or negative in quadrant 4? It's negative. And we're working from the perspective of our 45 degree angle in our special triangle 45, 45, 90. So remember that our hypotenuse is square root of 2. The other sides are 1. So if I'm working from the perspective of my reference angle, 45, cotangent, um, let's go ahead and label all of our sides here. We would have opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. And cotangent would be adjacent divided by opposite. That's 1 divided by 1, which of course just gives us 1. So the cotangent of 1,035 degrees would be negative 1. Part C, we want to find the cosine of negative 300 degrees. So we need to know two things. I need to know what quadrant and what the reference angle is. So let's graph negative 300 degrees. I'm going in the negative direction. Negative 300 degrees. And we want to know the positive distance between the nearest x-axis and the terminal side. I think we should be able to tell that would be 60 degrees. 60 degrees then is my reference angle. And we're looking for cosine of negative 300. So cosine, we're going to get that value from our 60 degree reference angle. But cosine is positive in quadrant 1. 
So let's pull out our reference angle, 60 degrees, and let's find our triangle and what values would be in our 30, 60, 90 triangle. So um, across from our 30 is 1, our hypotenuse is 2, and across from 60 is the square root of 3. Working from the perspective of 60 degrees, we want cosine, that is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, so that would be 1 divided by 2. So the cosine value of negative 300 degrees would be a positive 1 half. Lastly, we want to find secant of 750 degrees. So we want to graph our angle. So we can tell that 750 degrees is definitely more than one complete rotation. And in fact, 750 is two complete rotations and a little bit more. So we'll subtract 360 twice. And when I do that, we should get 30 degrees. So we're going to go one complete rotation two complete rotations, and then we have 30 degrees more. Once again, without actually doing another calculation, we can tell that the distance between the nearest x-axis and the terminal side would be 30 degrees. So here we have our reference angle, and we also know that we're living in quadrant 1, so secant is positive. And let's draw our special triangle are 30, 60, 90. And remember that we're working from the perspective of 30 degrees. Across from that would be 1 half, that's the opposite side. Or 1, that would be the opposite. Um, across from 90 degrees, we know that was 2. Across from 60 is the square root of 3. So we have opposite, we have our hypotenuse, and we also have our adjacent side. Secant is and hypotenuse divided by adjacent. So that would be 2 divided by the square root of 3 and we need to rationalize. So we get 2 square root of 3 divided by 3.